Hi guys, welcome to another succulent living video. Today I will talk about mealybugs and share some tips how to deal with them. So number one, observe your plants. Uh, personally, I find very therapeutic to look at my plants. And once a week I check all of them during the winter time when they're inside for mealybugs. So what are you looking for when you are looking at your plants? Look for any changes in the leaves. So here I have um, Greptovaria blue pearl that has been attacked by mealybugs a few times this uh, spring and summer. And at the end of the summer it was attacked and I had to spray it again. So I'm gonna show you some of the healthy leaves of this plant and some of the leaves that have been distorted because mealybugs have been sucking on the plant. So here I have two leaves from the same plant. As you can see, this is the healthy one. And this one here is uh, the one that has been distorted from mealybugs. Uh, so you can see how the, um, the leaf has been curved. And the top uh, usually ends up be being uh, more pointy and the leaf gets smaller because of all the curvings. It can also have some spots sometimes on the leaves. So you can see at this plant how uh, even though the leaves are long, um, they have soft edges, uh, they're a little bit round. So look at this edge, for example, right here uh, from mealybug. Do you see how pointy it is right there? That's another leaf that has been deformed from mealybugs. Um, these ones here have some strange ends here, also from mealybugs. You can see how much rounder these normal leaves are. Another thing uh, that can be a warning sign that you have mealybugs is if you keep losing leaves on your plants, even though you're watering your plant. So just the last video that I made about propagation update, I was talking about the problems that I had with my Kalanchoe lucia or flapjack plant that kept losing leaves. And it's been happening for weeks and I decided to check roots and it was a lot of orange brown fluffy stuff and I researched and that kind of color indicates that there is mealybugs that are root mealybugs that attack the root and most probably damage the root so plant was not able to absorb the water. So they can also live underground. There is many different types of mealybugs so that's kind of discouraging. You also can look if, if you see any bugs on the plant. The most common kind of mealybugs you're going to encounter are the ones that look like miniature cotton balls. They're actually uh, dark brown, reddish uh, color uh, bugs that have like a white fluffy coat around them. So that's what you're going to look for between the leaves or at the new growth where they kind of hide so it's really hard to see them. Second tip uh, for dealing with mealybugs, provide good circulation of air in uh, the room where you keep your plants. Uh, last year I didn't do this, but this year I am regularly ventilating the room by opening windows and by leaving this fan to run for hours during the day and, uh, and it's turned over the plants and shelves. So third tip is uh, use water or manually remove mealybugs. Uh, this you can use if you don't have a lot of mealybugs on the plant. I have successfully used this with some of my Crisula uh, jade plants, Crisula ovata plants. It was very easy to see mealybugs uh, between the leaves and if you have a strong flow of water using a hose or something else, uh, they can come off and uh, you don't have to spray your plant with anything else. However, if you have more mealybugs on your plant or they keep coming back, uh, another successful way to deal with them is using alcohol. Um, this is a very inexpensive method. Uh, this is a 70% uh, rubbing alcohol. You can find it in a grocery store, pharmacy, and you can either uh, dip one of the uh, Q-tips uh, in the alcohol and then remove the mealybugs, or if it's really hard uh, to get between the leaves, like for example in this plant that I showed you at the beginning, you can uh, put alcohol in one of the spraying bottles. I got these from Ikea for 99 cents. And uh, if you don't have a 70% alcohol, you could use 90% and mix it with some water. 
uh, you have to be careful because alcohol can damage plants and especially if you leave them at sunlight or under uh, lights grow lights after you have sprayed them. My recommendation, whatever you are using with your plants, always leave them uh, in shade or outside of uh, grow lights and, uh, for like at least a day. Fifth tip is use this uh, insect soap um, that you can uh, find uh, in different stores or online. Uh, for example, here where I live, Lowe's, Walmart, uh, Home Depot, they all have it and it's very inexpensive. It's like four and a half dollars. Um, the problem with this insect soap is that it works on contact. So you have to repeat application of the spray until you stop seeing mealybugs. And sometimes my experience was with this spray that um, it can damage the leaves of the plant. That some of the succulents don't like this insect soap. Uh, so uh, my advice would be when you use this and it doesn't say in the directions uh, definitely move your uh, plant in the shade um, I have seen it that after I sprayed it with this soap not only did the film uh, that succulents most commonly have on top of their leaves has been gone but also the damage can happen to the leaves if you leave them on the sun so if spraying your plant with water or insect soap or alcohol didn't work out I would recommend you use neem oil. Uh, neem oil uh, works systemically, which means you can spray roots of the plant, you can pr spray the soil, you can repeatedly spray leaves of your plant, uh, and the plant will absorb neem oil. Um, it's natural, and I like using something that will not harm environment. It does. Uh, it can be uh, dangerous for your eyes or skin, so be careful when you're mixing it up. Um, I have another IKEA bottle here where I mix water. I think for this amount of water, when this bottle is full, I think I put a little bit less than a teaspoon of neem oil. I bought this neem oil um, on Amazon.com. You can find it in some of the nurseries, but my experience was that it was much more uh, expensive than online. And you can mix it yourself. So uh, when I was moving my plants, inside uh, for the winter I have sprayed all of the top of the soil and plants with neem oil preventatively um, and I have also thoroughly washed all the like the outside of the pots from uh, dust and dirt that they accumulated being outside. To summarize all the tips I shared with you today uh, keep observing your plants and seeing if there is any changes in leaves. Uh, use water, alcohol, uh, insect soap or neem oil to uh, eliminate mealybugs. You have to repeat applications a few times until they're gone. Make sure that whenever you spray your plants, move them away from sunlight and grow light so that leaves don't get damaged. At the end, I want to tell you that there's many different kinds of mealybugs and sometimes it's very frustrating when they don't respond to any treatment and you have to be ready sometimes to uh, say goodbye to some of your plants for the sake of your other plants. So just uh, two weeks ago, when I was making a video uh, where I shared my succulent collection part one, I saw that one of my Crisula plants was not doing well. When I took it down, it had mealybugs that are different than the other kinds that I have encountered. They were gray, oval, and they were actually not just between the leaves, but on top of the leaves and uh, they were not responding well to the treatment. I have sprayed this plant a few times and I have decided, unfortunately, to take this plant to that place, which is a place in my woods where I uh, leave succulents to die uh, when they are not responding to any treatment. So uh, good luck with dealing with mealybugs. Uh, thank you for watching this video and if you have any feedback or uh, questions, uh, let me know and I will definitely make sure to answer them. See you in the next video.